Hey everyone, Clutch Investor back to another video for you today. So, C Limited, for those that still own the stock, you probably asked yourself, or maybe it's on your watch list, probably asked yourself why the stock was down close to 11% yesterday. I mean, I couldn't find one news related article thing that came out with regards to the company. So, I was like, hmm, pretty interesting. Maybe I'll make a video and get some answers from you guys. But in this video, we're going to try and make sense to why this happened. I'm going to give you some examples from other stocks out there, such as Alibaba and Neo. Maybe right now you can put the puzzle pieces together. I know C Limited is not a Chinese company, but it's not the first time we've seen C Limited linked to bad Chinese news and then the stock goes down. So if that's of any interest to you, sit back and relax. Maybe hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not. I would really, really appreciate that. So this video is sponsored by Seeking Alpha. If you would like to upgrade to a premium version, use the code or the link down in the description to get 50% off. We're going to have a look at a lot of things here on Seeking Alpha with regards to the company. Most of these are not available if you are not a premium member. So please follow along. So C Limited, it's down... 18% this last month, which, okay, you might say nothing out of the ordinary in the current market environment. And I agree. But then if you look at NEO, for example, I was stunned to see that NEO was again close to $10. It also dropped 10% yesterday. Well, when I say yesterday, I mean Wednesday, 19th of October, and that's down more than 46% this last month. Now, if we look at Alibaba, that was down 6.6%, but that's also down 17.4% this past month. So you can obviously start and see some connections here. Maybe the market, especially after what happened in China with Xi, who was basically, let's say, re-elected, even though there are no elections right now there. And again, he reinstated all of his points, cracked down on tech, he doesn't want tech to be the same thing as in the United States, Taiwan, etc., etc., etc. So probably the market was thinking about that and was saying, hmm, maybe everything related to China or near China should get affected. Because remember, India banned Garina Free Fire, even though, well, C Limited is not a Chinese company, but their servers were in China. And that was enough for them to ban. Obviously, since then, Garina Free Fire also took a hit. So that's one of the things also to look out for when they will report earnings. We're going to cover that on this channel, of course, but that's something we would like to see maybe a, let's say, neutral quarter over quarter growth to stop the bleeding there. On the paying side of things, the paying members, I don't know what's going to happen there, probably another decline or maybe a lesser decline than before. That should be enough, but remains to be seen. Now, currently... The stake of the stock is basically this valuation got an D minus, which is better than an F three months ago and six months ago. Now, with regards to valuation, we obviously had some news that the company is cutting on costs. So that's another thing to be on the lookout for in the next earnings report. How are they doing that? Well, we can see it right here. This is from an article from a writer on Seeking Alpha. If you want to know the name, it's Simple Investing. So shout out to him or her, I don't know. But uh, basically, this is what is happening. So, France, Shopee, market exit. India, Shopee, market exit. Shopee Food, Shopee Pay, downsize across, I believe this is Asia, Southeast Asia, or something like that. Spain and Shopee, market exit. Garina Buya, closed. C Labs downsize, then Chile, Colombia, Mexico for Shopee local operations downsize to cross border. So Brazil is still there. Argentina, Shopee market exit. Indonesia, Shopee downsize. So a lot of cost cutting there, and that's maybe needed because, as you can see right here, you cannot continue like this with well, close to a billion dollars. In losses, yes, they still have cash. But as you can see, since Q3 2021, they've been losing more than 1 billion per quarter on average. So if you continue like this, well, you won't last that long. And with high interest rates, well, I don't think it's a very good idea to raise money. Well, if they do, it's going to cost them more than before. 
Now going back to the other grades, so growth, B+. Plus. Of course, the company is still growing. Shopee is still growing. And that's one of the positives of the company is the fact that they have some segments that are high growth segments, such as the e-commerce side. Shopee, yes, that's the side also that is burning a lot of money, but that's also a side that is growing. And now that they're cutting costs across various segments, across various geographies, maybe that segment will become a bit more profitable, or should I say maybe less cash burning. Now, with regards to C-Money, that's also a segment that is growing extremely fast. And with Garena Free Fire, let's see if we can see some growth out of there as well. Now, for profitability, well, it's a D minus, it has been a D minus for a while. Momentum, D plus, I would say that momentum should probably be an F here. And then revisions, it was actually B minus, probably because, well, the company announced a couple of costs restructuring, so it got a little EPS revision there. We can actually see it. So in the last six months, it got six EPS revisions on the upside and seven on the downside. Now as for earnings, what is the market expecting? So EPS normalized estimate, you can see it's just under a dollar. That's negative, so a loss, which is a bit better than last quarter. And on a gap basis, negative $1.35, which was also better than last quarter. Well, is expected to be better than last quarter. Revenue estimate of $3.1 billion, also a small growth quarter over quarter. So keep that in mind. Obviously, I'm going to remind you all when they'll announce. So 11th of November. And just to be clear, there are obviously some positives. So total gross profit last quarter grew 17% year over year. So that's okay. The e-commerce side, again, that's what I said, it's still growing. Of course, quarter over quarter, not that much, but year over year, gross orders was 42% up year over year. GMV, 27% year over year or 31% on an FX neutral basis. But this is the big, let's say, red flag, one of the big red flags for the company right now, and that's the digital entertainment side. It's bookings. It's down 39% year over year. It's down quarter over quarter. If it can stabilize, right, even if it's down, but let's say it's 700 million, I think it would be seen as a much better sign than if it's suddenly 600 and something. Of course, that would mean that these numbers would be a bit better, especially quarterly paying users, which has been trending down for a year now. And so to conclude, and I'm not shorting the stock, I'm not a bear on the stock, nothing like that. But realistically speaking, if you're looking to buy some shares, maybe you should be waiting for the next earnings report. Because if they cannot show us that these restructurings are, well, working, if they are showing us that they are still burning so much money, well, then there is a big issue with the business, especially if the digital entertainment site is not growing again or has stopped the bleeding. On the flip side, if they can show us that they are saving money, that they can maybe be cash flow positive by next year or something like that, and they show us that Garena Free Fire is starting to stabilize again, then maybe, yes, at these current prices, it might become a bit more attractive. So there is risk here, but there is also reward. Now, obviously, do share your opinion down in the comments below. Check out the link for the 50% off Seeking Alpha's premium subscription. Link is down in the comments below. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.